Charlotte school actually in high school um, we used to pick on each other actually it was quite funny one day um, after we finished school our friends of friends brought us together again we became best friends and then on top of that I found out that she had feelings for me uh, that was a complete shock he used to tell his mum that he was finishing work at like 3 a.m. in the morning, but really he was sitting at the front of my house and we were talking, we talk in the car for hours, four to five hours at a time. And then he got really drunk one night and then asked me to be his girlfriend. And we went to Vanuatu and um, he got down on one knee and proposed. And that was it. The fairy tales do happen. I like her sense of humour. She's smart. She's funny. She's a good mother. Very pretty. And she's my boss now, for the rest of my life. He just, I'm gonna cry. Oh, he just, he's just everything. Charlotte and Stephen, you share today the joy of a deep commitment and a sacred trust. Say I love you often to retain the warmth between you. Laugh a lot too, even when you're angry. Remember you are each other's best friend. Stephen. Do you wish to take Charlotte as your lawful wedded wife? Will you endeavour with sincerity and understanding to blend your lives together so that you can find true happiness and fulfilment in your marriage together? I, do. I Charlotte, Amy, Michelle, Morrison, Bubner, Take you, Stephen. Take you, Stephen. To be my husband. To be my husband. Stephen, in the area of marriage, I used to come from doubt and now I come from hope. 
I used to come from fear and now I come from love. When you asked me to marry you, all that doubt and fear went away. Some days I sat there and questioned whether you really knew what you were getting yourself into. I was a single mum and you were just beginning your life. You took us both on and have loved us through everything. And I promise to love you through everything. I promise to be there no matter what life throws at us. I promise to be an amazing mum to our children and an amazing wife to the best of my abilities. Charlotte. I promise to love, support, encourage, comfort, respect and adore you for all of my days. I promise when the times get tough, I will always be there for you and our little man Braxton. I promise to put my heart and soul into this marriage and to always agree that you're always right when we argue. I love you, Charlotte. Love you too. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure I present to you for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Jessup. <laughs> from a beautiful curly haired little baby girl into a nightmare toddler into a 10 year old emo into a teenager that knew everything and then into a mother and at this time I guess as a big brother I had a lot of trepidation and a lot of worry about her next steps in life then she turns up with Steve-O <laughs> and she tells me he's a lovely fella and I said, Charlotte, he's had to write his name on his arm so he doesn't forget who he is. <laughs> I've known Steve-O since we've played under nines, under nines, back in, un back in Glenwood. Obviously, Steve-O got his soccer skills from me, obviously. It's all about defense. <laughs> no, like I've known Steve-O for about 14 years now and we've been through a lot and a lot of stuff, like both good and bad, one of them being Charlotte. Like... Yeah, I'm just really proud of both of you and I'll, yeah, love you to pieces. So to look back on everything that Charlotte and I have gone through, I couldn't be happier that she's met Stephen. He's walked in and stepped up to be in Braxton's life and becoming the man he is today, I could not be more proud of both of them. To my husband, my husband. I love you. You have been there through thick and thin and I could not imagine my life without you now. Me and Braxton will Keep you forever, I think. I think. But, um, yeah, we just love you. Oh, can I please have a toast to my beautiful husband? Oh, I'll go anywhere with you. 